the stream is live. Good morning, everybody. My name is Osa. We are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Glen Lethan. I'm running a little bit late. Um, I have been very busy all week, so I have not had much of a chance to do anything, including update all the mods that were updatable. It is 1.08 in the morning. Yeah, I made a bit of a mistake last week. Um, I think I mentioned I needed to uh, tidy up the basement for the workers who were coming this week. And so I kind of left the game running for about five hours. And so we lost all of day three in July. Is it day three? No. July four. We lost all of the last... No, all of day three. Yeah, we lost all of July three. Because I was downstairs. I came back upstairs and said, Oh dear, I forgot. So, I'm going to sleep till 6 o'clock. And then we're going to have a tab around all of our vehicles and see where I left them. So, that's not mine. That's fine. Right? That's good. That's good. That's good. Seem to be missing a magnum. You're parked up there. Okay. Your way. Oh, the magnum's in the middle of there. And ready to plant, ready to plant grass or has planted grass. Oh, this is such awkwardness. We do have logs on the truck. The sprayer's sat there. The harvester's there, and it looks like, um, by way of course play. This does not have a course play course active. Yes, it does. Show me. Okay. I am going to suggest this is actually finished. So let's clear the course, close course play, turn the engine on. Oh, it's running low on gas, diesel too. I'm going to take us around the field and see what it looks like. And it's going to rain today, so we're not going to get much work done today. I believe the grass is ready to cut tomorrow. Yes, because it's July 4. I am not sure if the silage is ready to cut tomorrow. Not the silage, the maze. This is such a big grass field. It is going to take us absolutely ages to transfer it all down to the farm and stick it in silos. I may need to buy a new silo. But anyway, we'll trip around the field see what's what. So I'm going to be driving down along the grass at the edge of the road. And at some point I will um, come around here and repaint these corners and plant some grass here do all the things but as I said busy this week so every night this week there was a thing at church so no evening streams so railroader I haven't streamed a railroader in like a week and a half um, Tuesday went I had an eye appointment also went shopping for computer parts and spent the evening starting to assemble Spent most of Thursday finishing the assemble, installing windows, doing all the stuff, and um, getting it all ready to go. So this will be the last stream on this computer. Um, I have validated Farming Simulator 22 install on the other computer, and we are all good transferred the mod folder over when I found a 
external drive big enough to hold it. Yes, I do have a lot of mods. <laughs> so, yes, that's a thing. And then, after all that, what else did I do? Um, oh, flash the BIOS and all the other, you know, loaded the drivers and everything else you have to do when you buy new bits because. I mean, even an off-the-shelf computer. You buy an off-the-shelf computer, it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. And so normally it does need a... Um, excuse me while I think a minute. We've rolled all the planted fields. I think the next thing I'm going to need to do is mulch. So we'll put the mulching roller back on this. And I'm going to turn the license plate off. Matter of interest. Yeah, CE eighty eight NRU. Um, hmm. Running with the long wrong license plate on the back of that trailer. So let's reconnect that. And go park it somewhere safe. We could put it down the side here. But anyway, yes, the new computer is almost all ready to go. It's ready to slot in where the current one is. So I'm guessing sometime this afternoon I am going to pull the old computer out, put the new one in. I've then got to configure up the farm stick, the, uh, the steering wheel, and all the other assorted stuff on the desk that needs to be connected. I did get the printer configured because that's on the network. It's not actually plugged directly into the PC these days. And then I need to just Farm Sim, ETS, ATS, and just check on the all of the uh, game configs. So the steering wheel does what I want it to do, the farm stick does what it wants it to do. Just get everything set up for the games. Now for ATS, ETS, I might not do that immediately because I'm not actively playing those games very much at the moment but obviously I need farm sim ready to go next weekend so I have to make sure I get everything set up for that so yeah all that is done um, my monitor is a 60 megahertz 1080p so initially I'm going I'm still going to be running 1080p at 60 frames a second but I do have a 1440p uh, I think 144 megahertz screen on uh, Mrs Osa's uh, Amazon uh, shopping cart and we're going to be monitoring the prices for that she says I can have it for Christmas, so that's probably going to be what I do. That's the truck. I'm going to dismantle, disassemble the truck for now. We'll sell a little bit more um, silage for the moment while I'm chatting, because I don't have to pay quite so much attention when I'm doing that. Uh, I don't think it... Uh, well, let's have a look. Obviously, I haven't checked things. Uh, that's not the weather screen. That's the weather screen. So it's going to rain at 8 o'clock. 
It's going to rain all the way through the morning, so if I want to do any contracts, I can't do them until this afternoon anyway. August is going to rain. Um, what's the other thing I wanted to check on this one? Um, oil, canola is 10,000 left, barley is 334,000 left, we've got nothing producing anywhere else, so that's good, and while we, okay that's weird, um, I think I confirm that. Why is that not letting me go to the store? Um, that's weird. Pressing the store shortcut, not the get change shortcut. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just do this. There we go. That's better, because that was taking me to wardrobe. Hmm. Don't know. But I wanted to check here. Um, there was a bunch. Oh, look, there's a big M. Got one of those. Uh, Kubota sprayer with regular and cheaty volumes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Very old top liner. I got one of those too. Oh, the Johnston trailer, livestock module. Silage roller. Don't have that particular silage roller. Okay. Nothing excitingly new. If I press P. Still taking me there. What is the issue? All right. So if I select that one, it'll let me select. Hands are fine. It's fine. Hands are fine. It's all fine. Confirm. No. I seem to have an issue all of a sudden. I don't understand that. Um, not to worry. But it does mean I might have a little bit of an issue trying to check the store sales if I have to jump over there every time. Anyway, what was I saying? So, I forget, squirrel. Yeah, we'll get some um, silage sold during the morning and we'll take a quick run across the grass field. I'm sure it won't damage the grass too much. Oh, I forgot to fill up the uh, Massey Ferguson. Well, never mind. And I will run this into the shed to service while we're here. Should I? And we need to put the actually I do want to check. Right, that has been seeded, that has been seeded, these are all normally grass fields, that's normally a grass field. This needs harvest much later in the year. This we might be able to forage next month. So, that's the size of things right now. Um, yes, so that was new 
new PC stuff going on this week. So next week I should be in a situation where we can start everything on the new PC. I expect everything to work. But all of the stuff I've been doing this week has basically been um, just getting PCs ready, not being at home, having workmen in the basement, and all sorts of fun like that. this point I'm going to have to start reversing this under the uh, pipe I do have the fast belt system now so I could actually replace this auger with a belt and it would run faster well, that's definitely the wrong way to turn it And also the workmen didn't finish last night, they were working till about 8 o'clock. So, uh, grass silage, grass silage, grass silage. Okay, does it tell me anything about grass silage? Sometimes that's not the greatest of tools. And I think my problem is is because some of these si the silo bunkers are not um, the greatest. So we're still up at Bales Market rather than exports by one dollar pound whatever. We'll do that. Oof. Let's not go backwards. So yeah, they've, they've got everything done except covering it all up with concrete. And the problem they had yesterday was they didn't, they're supposed to be a three man crew and their third man didn't turn up. So they didn't quite get the, um, the cement laid, concrete, whatever they're putting down. They did manage to get all of the channel done the sump is installed and one of the pumps on it is powered so if we do get any water in the basement that should pump out no trouble um, the pipes themselves run through the wall with a little bit of um, extra length so they can attach the drainage to them um, but unfortunately didn't get a chance to finish the outside drainage yet so the sump's just pumping water out through a, a culvert in the wall and that will be finished when they come back second sump's not active yet because um, they have to put in the controller for that and uh, it's all piped into the wall it's just not um, electrically ready the electrician came yesterday morning um, installed new power outlets for the new sump relocated the existing outlet that was over there so that it's up at the top of the wall rather than um, in the, re the alcove recess because they put some uh, waterproof coating thing around the basement wall and that outlet was in the way. Ooh. 
so yeah it's coming up like I said the only thing I have to do is cement the thing up um, install the second sump controller pump controller and do the outside uh, drainage but that's kind of changed things for today because obviously I was in intending to use this afternoon to tidy up the basement, pull all of our, um, uh, what's it, Mrs. Osa had us tarpaulin over everything, which not really needed because the guys have got a plastic wall taped to the roof, so all their dust stays behind the plastic wall. And uh, once they're finished, that'll come down. But yeah, we've got to take off all our tarp warnings and fold them up. Um, it's kind of a good thing that they didn't finish yesterday because obviously we need to let the cement cure for a few days so I couldn't put the shelves back where they need to go. If I don't get around to doing that until next week Saturday it does mean that um, we'll be in a good position for um, the moving also also relocating the shelves back to where they go rather than having to leave them where they are at the moment for another week. So that's not not too bad of a thing, I think. I'm okay with that. But it does give me a free afternoon, which means I've got time to do drivers on the PC and make sure I can get back into this game on the new PC. I did check the save game installed Sometimes having accounts for stuff online. So if you've got an account for your browser, I logged into my browser account and it automatically downloaded all of my um, bookmarks, all of my um, extensions and everything else so my uh, my browser was immediately ready to go um, there was you know download steam all of my save games are right there ready to load so that's a good thing <coughs> obviously at that point I checked to see whether this game save was there and it is what I didn't do was check was go into the game and check it worked because at that point I hadn't made sure I transferred the um, oh, what is it the the mod folder um, now I think last time I had an issue was it on Maple? Um, no, it was it was on Oakfield Farm in Farm Sim 19. I was playing that and the hard drive cr crashed. So I lost everything. I still had the game save, but I didn't have all of the mods because they were on the hard drive that failed. And the other downside to that was some of the mods I were using were no longer available. Um, I didn't get all of them from the Mod Hub. I got some of them from UK Farm Sim Mod uh, website. And in the interim, that website had been taken down and all of those mods were now no longer available to anyone who wanted to play the game. If you'd already downloaded them, you still had them. 
and it's not like you lose them because the website you got them from goes away. They're on your hard drive, but my hard drive died.